If you are a personal trainer, this video is going to help you understand the menstrual cycle so you can support your client's health and fitness hormonally. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do by clicking that red subscribe button, but also click the bell next to it to be notified every time I post a video on menstrual cycle health and fitness. And if you don't know me yet, my name's Omega Zumpano. I am an exercise scientist and menstrual cycle educator, and I have helped so many people get fit, understand their hormones, and reduce PMS by always educating about the menstrual cycle. So if you are ready for this video, go ahead and give it a like and we will dive in. I have four tips for you. Number one tip is to adjust your client's training schedule according to their cycle. So overall studies have shown that we actually burn more fat, that female body people actually burn more fat when compared to men. And the amount of fat that we burn in exercise session actually changes throughout our cycle. So in our late luteal phase, about seven to five days before the period starts, we're actually way more efficient at utilizing fat as a fuel source. So adjusting the workouts to actually utilize more fat being higher rep load and lower weights is just going to support our clients more and more. Compare that to the ovulatory phase, which is in the middle of the cycle. Researcher Carmichael and colleagues showed in their 2021 study that we actually have peak performance in our ovulatory phase. That's about 14 days after the period starts. And so that's right in the middle of the cycle. And that is because we have highest estrogen and testosterone right here. A 2021 study by Romero Para and colleagues also showed that we have more strength loss right after our period ends. So putting all of this research together, what does it mean? It means periodize, periodize your client's workouts, which you probably already do already. You just have to adjust it to your client's cycle. So do that by doing low intensity recovery based workouts in the bleed phase and slowly ramp up the intensity. Maybe you do higher rep load in the follicular phase and the ovulatory phase, you're working them towards that PR. And in the luteal phase, you are working them back down. So it's like a bell curve starting off with lower reps and higher weight and over a two week period when their period begins again, you are doing higher reps and a lower workload. Tip number two, adjust your client's caloric intake. So amazing studies on this. A 2018 study by Draper and colleagues showed that we actually have totally different nutrient needs throughout each phase of our cycle. This particular study showed that we metabolize more protein in our late luteal phase and vitamin D in our late luteal phase as well. So helping our clients get more of those nutrients are going to be so, so crucial for this phase of their cycle. And if you're learning something from this video so far, go ahead and click that like button and we will continue on to tip number three. Get knowledgeable about the different PMS symptoms and what they mean and how you as a trainer can support. PMS symptoms like anxiety, mood changes, and even depression can be supported with food sources that are high in magnesium, vitamin D, and fiber. Fiber is one of those essential macronutrients that we need to help decrease estrogen, which is why we have mood-oriented PMS symptoms to begin with. Water retention and breast tenderness can be mitigated with high potassium foods. Cramps and headaches and even diarrhea can be supported with foods that are high in omega-3 fatty acids. And period poops, depending on how close you are with your clients, they might tell you about period poops. I will tell you that they are very common, but period poops can also be mitigated by getting high fatty foods out of our diet. Those are foods that are typically high in trans fats and even red meat sources too. Tip number four is to inform yourself. Get educated on the topic of menstrual cycle health and fitness. And if you are ready to get more educated on the topic, go ahead and book a call with me using the link below and I will help you get more confident and learning and talking about the menstrual cycle so you can be the best trainer possible. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know more about the topic of menstrual cycle health and fitness, click one of these videos around this here video and I will see you next time. Bye.